right, we had a ton of confidence in elementary school, nothing to back it up at all, right? <laughs> and my point in telling you guys this is like, I don't know you, I don't know your money situation. I'm talking to you guys. I know what's happening up here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know your money situation, okay? But if you're poor, tell your kids. That's my whole point here. If you're poor, tell your kids. Let them know. They could be whatever they want to be when they grow up, but let them know where they're starting so they know. All right, you don't want what happened to me to happen to your kids, okay? I found out that we were poor in public, and that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing and it scars you for life. I'll never forget the day I found out that we were poor. I was 10 years old, fourth grade. I'm at a sleepover at my friend's house. It was dinner time and I said to my friend's mom, I go, excuse me, where's your ketchup drawer? If you're laughing right now, you were poor growing up. You should know that. Look around, not everybody's laughing right now. Look at the people next to you not laughing. Look at their face. Look at how they're looking at you like, what is so funny? What's a ketchup drawer? Look at their face. That's the same way my friend's mom looked at me. Right, but moms are nice. Moms are nice. She got down on my level. She was like, Mal, what do you mean ketchup drawer? When I was 10 years old, I wanted ketchup. I was like, where do you keep your ketchup? Like with an attitude, where's your ketchup at? She was like, the fridge. It's a true story, you guys. 10 years old is the first time I ever saw ketchup in a bottle. I was like, whoa! That's a lot of ketchup! You guys must be rich. That's all the ketchup. How many packets did you have to sleep? <laughs> That's not how we got ketchup. I say we, I mean my family, and those of you that laughed initially, like, I don't know where you guys went, but my mom took us to McDonald's. All right, she ordered one large fry and then she told us, go get ketchup. <laughs> and we knew what she meant. <laughs> We're not getting ketchup for these fries. Right, we're shopping for the house right now. <laughs> this might as well be the ketchup aisle at the grocery store, that's what's happening. I'm the oldest, I went first because I knew the drill, right? Just walk right up to the ketchup, grab a big handful, put it in my pocket, another big handful, put it in my other pocket, one for the road, and I bounce, right? Brother and sister right behind me, same thing, handful, pocket, handful, pocket, one for the road, bounce, right? My youngest brother, he wanted help too, but at the time, he wasn't tall enough to see, so sometimes he got ketchup, sometimes, right? And then sometimes he got salt and pepper, you know? But he would get one handful of something, another handful of something, and then the napkins are on his level. He would get all the napkins, just all the napkins. Uh, and we would go home, and we would empty our little pockets into the ketchup drawer. Right, right next to the Taco Bell hot sauce, the KFC buffalo sauce. We're half Asian, so we had soy sauce all in the back. This is my favorite story to tell on stage, you guys. Whenever I'm in a city for the first time, I make sure I tell this story. It's my favorite story in my show for two reasons. Number one, reason why I love this story is because it's 100% true. I'm just telling you about my childhood. You know, I'm just introducing myself to you guys. Number two reason why I love this story is, is because it's not race exclusive, right? Every single person sitting in this room right now should know exactly what I'm talking about by now. It doesn't matter what color you are. And I have to say that because I can see many white people here in the front that are just looking at me the last four minutes. They got faces on like we're for sure gonna Google this ketchup drawer when we get home. Don't front white people, you had a ketchup drawer too. Right, except it was mayonnaise and ranch all in the back. And jelly, white people like to steal jelly. <laughs> Can we get some more jellies over here, please? We love the cute jar of jelly, we'll take some more jelly. 
Black people, it's a lot of hot sauce and barbecue sauce. Honey from KFC. We need some more honey over here, please. We'll take some honey. Latinos, just Cholula and Tapatio everywhere. It's the ketchup drawer. I love that story. It's my favorite. I watch adults laugh two different ways when I tell that story. Some of you laughed for the last five minutes straight because I was speaking directly to your soul. You remember. You guys remember your ketchup drawer. Some of you laugh halfway through the story, not because, you know, it's mostly because you can figure out halfway through, you're like, I got a ketchup drawer at the house right now. <laughs> there are people sitting in this room right now that are like, I got all the Chick-fil-A sauce at my house. <laughs> it's the ketchup drawer.